Hello everyone, welcome back to Anime Oracles and today we'll be talking about the actual titular character of the Toaru franchise, Index the Girl. As we all know, she's the first heroine of the franchise and the magic counterpart of the duality of science and magic in the primary catchphrase of the franchise, when science and magic cross paths, a story is born. Now the overall reception of her character is mixed at best and horrible at worst. The common complaints are 1. She is a very bad protagonist 2. She is immature, annoying, bratty and ungrateful 3. She is useless in a conflict We'll get into some of the complaints, valid and invalid as they may be. But for the meantime, let us first consider what makes a good character. A point to think about here is, good is just an adjective that people use when they find a character believable. Certain characters in fiction are deeply hated but nevertheless enjoy a very massive fan following. Whereas there are some characters that are loved by a certain section of the people but are deeply hated everywhere for their writing. Now we arrive at the crux of the topic. Is Index as a fictional character believable? Let us consider her circumstances. She is a normal girl with a photographic memory who has been more or less exploited by the church for their own means. The institution in charge of her also indulged in unethical practices of memory altercation, which not only resulted in intense emotional pain, but also her independence and her basic human dignity. She is someone who has been dehumanized and brought up to be an asset. Someone who can provide immense firepower and has even the potential to become a magic god. But in order to do so, the said person was exposed to hazards like reading a grimoire and having their free will snatched away at any moment. Now these are horrible circumstances but if you actually look into most occult practices and the churches in medieval times in real life, it is not at all unbelievable. Her history makes her want to keep Toma away from her life, really endearing, and her bratty nature can actually be viewed as natural since she essentially has the mindset of a toddler whose accumulated life experiences and emotional connections have been wiped clean from memory time and time again. It basically leaves her having to deal with a world in which she figuratively and literally doesn't know any better. I mean, at least she's not picky about food like most kids. Despite this, her rare but genuine show of compassion and understanding from time to time deserves credit. So by no means, in my humble opinion, can she be categorized as objectively bad. Now the core issues mainly arise due to her narrative position and time of introduction into the series. The author, Kazuma Kamachi, has expressed that initially he treated Index like a sort of sandbox for his ideas. As a result, you can notice Index became a sort of mishmash of various genres. And in order to keep things fresh, he almost wrote a different hero in every volume. While this isn't a strictly bad policy, it affected Index's position in the narrative horribly. Now, Index was present in practically every volume just to exhibit enough bratty nature for Toma to say his signature Fukuda or to get kidnapped and be saved by him with only a few instances acting as the exception. Misaka also suffers similar issues of stagnation, but due to Railgun and her subsequent inclusion in the New Testament plots, she isn't hated to that extent. This really is just another scenario of Kamachi having too many characters but not knowing what to do with them. And to be honest, this is something Kamachi is guilty of even today with the magic side cast. So again to reiterate, I don't think Index is a necessarily bad character. She has just been underutilized. She is used as a MacGuffin and in some ways an important plot device but sadly there is hardly ever any focus on her choices or individuality. It also doesn't help that in most cases, Kamachi mainly decides to showcase her petty flaws like being a gluten or a brat, despite her having a dark history. Now to address some of the earlier comments on Index, A. A very bad protagonist Well, Index can't be a bad protagonist because she has never been a protagonist. Index is a three protagonist story that does a triangular narrative featuring Toma, Hamazura and Accelerator. Index has never had any place in it. 
despite being the titular character and i know this is where the confusion comes from but please i think people should find out a little more about the series before commenting b she's annoying bratty and ungrateful well yes i admit she can be bratty but whether or not that is annoying is left to preferences in fact believe it or not her incessant biting of toma is even interpreted as a romantic gesture by some This is not to invalidate your opinion in case you do dislike these traits. I'm just trying to point out that the intended target audience doesn't seem to dislike it that much. See, she is useless. I mean, so are the other heroines except probably Athena in most conflicts. In fact, Misa Misa have been pretty notorious in this regard in recent arcs. It's just that Index stays with him, so people kind of expect her to be more proactive and confront Toma and his ideals more often. But like I said before, this is probably a side effect of being a passive heroine in regards to Toma. In fact, if you read the Index SS, she actually can be pretty formidable with her agency not being compromised for the sake of kickstarting the narrative. I do think it's quite natural for the writer to do more with her since the narration has gone on to claim that she even has the potential to be a magic god but whether or not that will happen remains to be seen but for the sake of the few index fans in our community I do hope it happens sooner rather than later thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and leave a thumbs up thank you and have a nice day